Hello, and welcome to Adventures with Amber, the Southeast Asian edition. Hello, I'm Amber, and join me island hopping from Koh Samui to Koh Banyang to Koh Tao and back to Koh Samui. That boat is smaller than I thought it was going to be. I'll level with you. Thank God it's only half an hour. Refused to get a taxi from the boat. It's been a, been a long week doing a lot of expensive things. Seems also a little bit pointless, considering apparently it's only a 15 minute drive, any, oh, 15 minute drive, 15 minute walk. It's a nice little workout with 20 kilograms worth of stuff on my back. I can pass a load of clothes shops. Oh mate, there's some cool trousers, aren't they? Realising I haven't got a Thailand outfit yet, so... <laughs> I limited myself with getting clothes and I've somehow now changed it for it to be acceptable that I get an outfit in each place that I go to. Only each country, can't be each place. Each place I'm screwed, I'd be the whole other rucksack. But each country, I can get one outfit. And to be fair, I've been in Thailand a week now and I haven't had it from here. I haven't got it yet, so maybe, maybe Koh Phang Yang is the one. Maybe somewhere on this island is my new outfit. Oh, hi guys. Look at me. I officially drove here on my own on a scooter. And it's sunny. It peed down all morning. Absolutely chucked it down. I was like, yeah, it would be when I try and learn how to scoot, wouldn't it? So I got here and I actually am so proud of myself. Um, look at this. Firstly, I think this is like a resort. This is, I think this might be Malibu Hotel as well. I'm pretty sure I read that right. But um, there were some steep hills coming up here. And I didn't realise they were going to be quite so steep, but I made it. And look at this. Stop it now. I feel like I'm a little secret. That's one thing I need is a coffee. And I've realised I've had no food today apart from like a few cashew nuts. Um, I need a coffee and I really need a wee. I really need a wee. I need some food actually. I don't know if there's any vegan stuff here. <gasps> Look at this though. Stop it. This is like a dreamland. <gasps> She's been driving a scoot scoot around. She's been driving a scoot scoot around. Um, I didn't catch it on my GoPro um, because my GoPro was in my bag in the scooter seat. But when I came back from the beach earlier, um, it absolutely hammered down. I, I understand what they mean by monsoon rain now, because it's no prisoners. Oh my good lord. And I just wanted to go to Dots for a cup of coffee. People start, the other way started like beeping. I was like, what the hell is happening? And I was, I was wearing this, that's why, because I didn't put my jacket on, did I know? And then suddenly the rain hit me harder and harder and quicker and faster and it was just, absolutely torrential. When I tell you the heavens open it is literally just stop monsooning it down. My bike is over there under a like palm tree or a banana, I'm not sure. I literally stopped under the smallest tree ever and I wondered why people were beeping at me and it was because I was driving into this. I was driving in to this. And this really cute Russian couple, I just happened to stop outside their house and they were like, come in, I've got a cup of tea. They needed to go out, so they've made a little nest for me here whilst it passes. This is hilarious. Thrown in at the deep end, 100%. How do these things happen? Sometimes I literally wonder how these things happen because otherwise I would have just waited and waited under this tiny banana leaf tree and like genuinely just got like, so cold, so cold, so wet, so horrid, and been like exposed to all elements. She picked a day to learn to scoot, didn't she? I've now been away from the UK over seven weeks. This is the first day in the daytime I've had to use the, the raincoat I, I brought. And it was the day that I went, do you know what? Who's gonna learn to scoot today? But it's so much fun, I'm so proud of myself. I also totally forgot guys, I need to show you my room. I have got a nice big full length, full-length mirror wardrobe. 
look a little bit like a colorful road man at the moment, but that's fine. This is my room. I've got I've got a nice little desky area TV that I haven't even turned off. I've actually got a balcony, which is cute. I've got a fridge, nice little desk area, a big old bed, and then we've got obviously we've got the bathroom. We got the bathroom. Decent decent enough shower. That's me. I don't know what this is. I think it's an air freshener, but yeah. And this, guys, this was, if I'm correct, for three nights, it was £56 for three nights. So 2,500 baht. So a little expensive, if I'm honest, from what I've been paying, um, it does obviously edge on to close, close to £20 a night, which for me is on the higher end of what I'd like to be paying. The people here are lovely. Um, I'm only staying three nights and then I'm gonna go to Koh Tao and then hopefully spend maybe four or five nights there. We'll see. And hopefully organize the next part of my trip. I'm at the moment deciding whether, I'm basically deciding whether the monsoon season is gonna absolutely peeve me off very quickly because obviously today's been rainy. It's been quite rainy the last week, specifically beautiful, beautiful and warm temperamentally and intermittently. But I am sort of debating whether at this point I finish off Thailand, go to Vietnam for a week, and then potentially see if I do Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne then, and then come back in December for the Philippines and hit it all sunny white, sunny side up, you know? We'll see, we're just going with the flow. Just a leaf in the wind, babies, a leaf in the wind. There's not an ounce of this. Not a single ounce of this sc scooting in the rain. That makes me look cool. I look like a year seven whose parent has packed them off with every textbook, a, like a uniform that will fit them until year 11. And just like the biggest backpack in the world. I look like a dweeb. And I've also, it was so rainy just then, the sun cream just dripped into my eye and I had to stop and just like cry a little bit. That's ridiculous. It's sunny and I was like, oh no, there's no way. There's no, there's not a big cloud of yesterday that was like monsooning. Oh boy. I'm from England and this, this place knows how to rain. I cannot deal. <clears throat> anyway, I've come to a cafe and I hope it's worth it or I'm gonna cry now. It's sunny now, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's sunny. I've come in, it's stopped and it's sunny. Life is testing me. Life is testing me and my mo motoring scooter abilities. It's not getting to me. It's not getting to me, I'm absolutely fine. I mean, sun cream was dripping into my eye there and that was quite painful. <sighs> but now I'm gonna eat food, so meh. I'll find out where I do my later lunch and maybe dinner and watch the sunset and hopefully it won't chuck it down. And I can actually really enjoy the beach today because that's kind of the idea that I had a scooter and I could drive to the beach doesn't work if it's just gonna absolutely piss down the entire time. And it's stopped now. Skills, skills. Learning is earning. So I'm not sure if you can see that guys, but I would like to confirm that is not a crocodile, that's actually a lizard. And hilariously, since my Singapore video, I have not Googled what the exact name of that one is. But look who got, look who got here. I'm now at, oh, I'm at a beach. I'm at the top part. I'm at the northwestern part of Koh Phangan. You know, the bit like on the map where it like kind of separates and there's an island and it's supposed to be like an iconic part thing. I've driven here, I've had my breakfast, which is hilarious because it's like, it's about half one in the afternoon. But I've just had pancakes and I've driven here and I'm pretty sure I can just leave my bike here. We're gonna see. This is the bit I wanted. Walk over this bit, see what magical mystery lies on the other side. You never know. The love of my life could be on the other side. Watch me turn back. <laughs>
That's cute. Look at all those palm trees. God, I love the fact that I've driven myself here. I don't even care that I've been driving a car for like the best part of what, 12, how old am I? 12, 13 years? I can't really remember how, nearly 13 years maybe. But I bloody love that yesterday I learned to drive a scooter and I took myself to the beach yesterday and I've taken myself to the beach today. And literally two people have been like, that's insane. That's quite dangerous. I was like, could you not? Don't install fear when I am absolutely vibing and thriving off of learning a new skill that I wanted to for absolute years. So I knew I'd be good at it anyway. Um, don't input fear in my brain, brother. I'm getting on just fine. I know how to, I know the rules of the road. I trust myself. The mystical wonder. Something bubbling over there. What is that? This is on Google Maps as a recommended. Come to the secret beach, apparently. And this is the hill, which the camera might not do it justice, but that's bloody steep. I only learned to drive the scooter yesterday. There's no way in holy hell. I'm doing that. I want to find the secret, the secret beach, which might be good enough secret that I can't find it. I don't know. I've left my, I've left my bike up there. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's, it's raining-ish still, so it's not going to be the most beautiful of views, but it's supposed to be like the best beach, so... Let's go see if we can find it. So this is Secret Beach. I imagine on a sunny day, it's a nice little trapped beach. This view, you can see the other islands, which is actually beautiful and the weather that we kind of want, but the weather we've got. <laughs> um, but this is a, I think it's a beach club. I can't remember its name now, but it was recommended to me. And had I been here longer and had the days been actually not torrential, I'm sure it'd be really lovely to go vibe at that club because it looks really cool. And look, people are still swimming and there's stairs down. What a beautiful little spot. I'm literally just coming to stare at it and then I'm going to drive to the food place because I'm actually quite hungry now. And I'm not going to sit down, the sun's gone in. It's semi-raining and... I'm quite tired now. <laughs> Look at that. This cloud sort of looks like an elephant. Like a little dumbo. Cute. Very serious question. Why is this the most... Why is it the most seedy but alluring sign ever? Art, this way. A yeehaw. Because that looks like a really dark alleyway to me. If that sign said art, coffee and chocolate, <laughs> you'd alert me to my death. I don't think it's hard to do that apparently. Cool. <laughs> I'm very much getting annoyed with this rain. I'm over it. I don't like it. I don't see the point. Every time I try and leave to do something outside, it hammers down. And my stuff is going to get wet because I need to walk back to the dock now with all my stuff. And it's going to get friggin' soaked. I just want sunshine, that's all I want. Not even sun, just like dry. It's very, very annoying. I'm a problem solver, not a problem finder. <coughs> Hello. To be fair, my backpack does have a waterproof back in. Waterproof bag in. It's my front bag with all my money, my phone, my laptop that I'm worried about. So I'm hoping that leaves off outside because it's um, not the one currently. This is ridiculous, look at me. I'm glad I blend in. So I had every intention of walking and then it got heavier. Bye! <laughs> there we go.
and I am now in the back of a truck because bless the guys from my homestay was like I can drive you it's gonna be raining all day and you'll get very wet and I couldn't because I had all my stuff attached I couldn't fit in the front and it was raining so I'm just now in he does tours so I'm now just experiencing a, a really funny ride in the back <laughs> Thailand has a lot of beautiful islands that look best when the sun is fucking shining. Right now, it is grey and rainy. And I mean very rainy. And I'm having to get a boat. Well, I'm not having to, I'm choosing to because I want to move. From Koh Phangan to Koh Tao. And I think it's like an hour. And if it's, that, if it's like the same boat that I went from Samui to here to, it's not a very big boat. So there's that. This could be really fun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. at the pier they make you queue up and pay a 20 baht fee that wasn't mentioned to me I was absolutely desperate for the Wii and I was like mate I need to go to the toilet what the hell is this for and I was like I don't know what this is we made it this is my room welcome to K-Tao no K-Tao welcome to K-Tao oh I still got my sticker on <laughs> one nerd <laughs> Kotal, we have arrived in Kotal, finally. Uh, this is my room. I got fancy antsy and I have booked a, super a superior double bedroom. Thank you for me, myself and I. Um, I've got three nights booked in and I will probably then go back to Samui um, to then fly to Chiang Mai, I reckon. Um, but this for three nights, it's just over 2000 baht which I want to say was about 46 pound. Is it? Cute, real cute. I think it's been painted recently because it smells kind of painty. Bathroom, shower, a very sweaty, achy amber. Um, and what I didn't realize actually, I was like, what's this room? What is this? Got a cheeky little balcony. Not much of a view, but it's quite a steep hill over there. I'm very glad, actually. What I will also say is, um, when I looked on Google Maps, I was like, mate, it's only a 15 minute journey from like, as in a 15 minute walk from the pier to the hotel. I'll do that. That's what I did in, that's what I did in um, Koh Phen Yang. Uh, it's very steep and it's very hilly here. So I'm very glad they offered a free shuttle service because that's wonderful. That would have been a real journey. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go find some food now, to be honest, and see what's around here. I'm not having that. Freedom, cannabis. Why would you not call it freedom? These people, I need to become like a marketing strategy, a uh, strategy, a marketing person, whatever the hell you call those people. Wordplay is my thing. Am I going insane? What the f is that sound? Why does it sound like a weird robotic moo a thousand times? It's coming from both sides. I've never heard of that in the two months I've been out here. I don't know whether I'm being dumb, um, but firstly, the sun is not quite bright enough to wear glasses, but too bright to not get a frown when I don't. Um, I just don't want my frown line to come in. I'm getting too old for this. Um, I don't really know how many beaches there are on Kotal, to be honest. 
I know it's a very, you know, diving dominant place. But I can't see huge stretches of beach when I look on Google Maps, so I don't really know where to drive to, so I've just come to the closest one. It's very busy. Somewhat busy. But hey, just gonna chill, 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 chill. So I drove south of the island to find a beach that's supposed to be nicer and cuter than the one I was previously in. Although it just sort of goes, yeah, here's, I think is it Shark Beach or it might, it might be called something else. But just loads of people have just parked their bikes at the top. And it's, look, I don't know if this is the official way in, but like, people have come up this way and I've seen them go down. Oh my gosh, look at that clear water. Stop it now. I'm so glad I bought my goggles. Stop it, look at this. I hope I find some turtles. for stardom since being in Southeast Asia I've had my photo with random people that have asked me it's got to be edging on seven to ten times now so I think I'm really prepped for celeb life now um so it's just a nice little taste for fame I guess you know yeah take two minutes but I'll level with you but I'll level with you now that van has obviously made it look easy but he's also in a car but I swear to god this isn't gonna even look steep here is it I mean, like you're skiing and shit and like you're like oh look I just came down and it doesn't look anything I'm not bringing that literally <laughs> I just really got shit to do I can't I can't be having no broken limbs or like injury nah 
it's not happening. So she's gonna she's gonna walk the rest of the way. Mm. Look at those boulders. That's nice boulders. So after all that, I walked down here. You have to pay 50 bucks to go to the beach anyway. I'm level with you, I'm not, I'm not paid to go into a beach. Today's the first, but by the time I walked down, there was no way I was walking up and going, no, you're tight walk, but, but it's literally just over a quid, so whatever. And then I bought some Pringles, so. I just know I'm not the only one with an issue with my bare feet touching the ground of the sea. I've taken off my sea shoes because it's actually sandy. I'm scared, I don't like it. <laughs> cute dog up. Hello little baba. Hello. Hello you little sausage. Hello. Hello monkey. Oh there's loads of you. Hello monkeys. Hello monkeys. Yeah it's still weird. It's still weird being in like 30 plus degree heat. And it's Halloween in like three days. That keeps throwing me off that. I'm like, why are all these pumpkins here? And then I'm like, oh, it's because next week is November. Wow. But yes, I get ready to fly from Koh Samui to Chiang Mai to round off my Thailand trip. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna move on after Chiang Mai. I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be Chiang Mai. We'll see, we'll see where the wind takes me, but I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be Chiang Mai. And today, actually yesterday, marked eight weeks since I left the UK to fly out here. Eight weeks. I have now done this two months. How insane is that? How insane? That's it. Where have those eight weeks gone, man? Like, I mean, my camera will show you, like, it's gone actually on, like, four different countries and God knows how many different places, but, like, huh. Time flies when you're avoiding real life. Lotus Garden. Retreat, not, not an airport. Oh my gosh. And just this beautiful like canal thing. <gasps> How is this place just so cute? This is the most relaxing boarding gate I've ever walked into in my life. Neat one. Hey, mom, mommy. I think I have a really good question, right? I say really good for probably like the right person is really good. How often do the wheels on the bottoms of aeroplanes, how often do those tires need to be changed? Because if you think about how much effort and friction goes into landing a plane, that's insane, isn't it? Like, how often? Does anyone know the answer to that? How often do the tyres on the bottom of aeroplanes have to get changed? Because they've got to have some durability to them, haven't they? I asked the real question. 